So I think that I had done Island Sanctuary for maybe a day or half a day. And then I talked about it a little bit on stream, like my first impressions, my general first impressions about Island Sanctuary. And uh, it was still really early for me to say anything too conclusive about what I really thought about it. But I remember saying like, I wasn't sure about the time gating. And I did, I was just like, because I felt like I didn't have a ton to do while waiting <clears throat> for the houses to be built, like for the buildings to go up three hours or 12 hours or whatever. I wanted more to do that could just occupy me indefinitely besides only gathering. So I guess what I, reflecting on it now, it's not that I have an issue with the time gating of building the buildings. Like to me, that kind of makes sense but I would like there to be a little bit more depth to gathering, maybe not a ton, but I don't know, like maybe some extra, maybe there could be like a small chance that you mine a blue shell <laughs> when you're gathering or uh, something like that. But overall, I only say that because I love Island Sanctuary so much. <laughs> I love it so much, I was spending, I, I always try to check that. It's nice that it's such a chill solo thing that in the past several days, like week, I haven't had a ton of time to play at all. And it's been so good to still like be able to get into the game and check on this one thing I really like and then feel some sense of satisfaction that like, oh, I got my island in order. Like I've, it's kind of dumb, but I enjoy this feeling of like, oh, well, okay, my crops are watered and I got all the uh, stuff off of my animals and they're all fed and they're happy and my workers are working their workshop and now I'm done. Like I feel like they have this little sense of satisfaction, like work, good day's work done. Uh, and so I really like it for that. Yesterday I did go out and um, did a bit of gathering for like an hour or hour and a half in there. So that's good, but I also wanna, more to do in there for longer periods of time. But I understand it's, I guess it's not for that kind of player. Like it's meant for the casual person. It wasn't really designed to be a thing that sucks you in and keeps you in there. Uh, but there are often a lot of systems in Palomese 14 that like on the surface, uh, that, okay, I'll put it like this. There's a lot of systems that have depth that is optional, that has complexity that is optional like you can do it casually like um not get too deep into it i guess crafting and gathering is an example like custom deliveries i would consider to be that an example of surface level casual crafting content but if you really love it and you really want to go deep in it and spend a ton of time doing it there's there's things for you uh too so I guess I want more stuff that I could really, really sink my teeth into for a longer period of time. <clears throat> but maybe they, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe they will be adding things like that uh, later on. One thing that maybe, maybe they could do is have the green shells a bit more interesting, a bit more useful. Because right now, uh, there's nothing that interesting to get from the green shells. There's materia, <clears throat> but um, I'm not going to there's easier ways for me to get materia. Like I'm not that hard up for materia. <laughs> that I think it just more fun stuff to buy with the green shells, I think would be good. Uh, when I had this whole like first impressions uh, discussion immediately after I tried Island Sanctuary the first day and I talked about time gating a little bit. And uh, at the time I, I hadn't really played it enough to formulate my thoughts on it in a thorough way. Um, I, th I think a lot of people thought that I don't like Island Sanctuary because they're like, oh, she's complaining about time gating. She must not like it. That's not true. I absolutely love it, uh, which is why I want more stuff to do in there all the time so I can just literally live in there. Uh, my complaint is that I can't live in there. <laughs> but uh, if they remove the time gating, that wouldn't fix that. That would probably make that even worse, to be honest. Okay, so I wanted to watch this. Uh, thing when people forget to have fun in FXV Island Sanctuary. Okay. 
Yoshi P says to Final Fantasy 14 players. Whoa. Oh yeah, I remember seeing this on Twitter. It is perfect. It is perfect, this <laughs> topic. Yeah, I saw somebody post this on Twitter. Uh, whoa, 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 slow down, friend. Don't you know, sometimes you have to stop and smell the flowers, says Yoshi P. And the player obviously <laughs> <laughs> consumes all the flowers as quickly as possible. Flower smelling champion. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be honest. That's me. <laughs> that's me. All right. I do this with everything, though. Okay? It's not just Final Fantasy. Like, if there's something I like, I don't just like it a little bit and can, like, just take a little bit and, oh, that's nice, and I'll have a little bit more tomorrow. I'm the kind of, <laughs> the kind of person that's like, oh, I got some dopamine from this. We're going hard on this shit. <laughs> like, I need all of it now. <laughs> like, if I hear a song I like, for example, I'm not just going to listen to that one song one time and be like, oh, that was nice. Maybe I'll listen to it another time. I'll put it in my playlist. I'm like, I will sit there and fucking listen to that same song for like six hours. <laughs> okay. Because my brain found some dopamine. And that's what we're trying to get. <laughs> I need the dopamine. Okay. Whoa, slow down, my friend. Don't you know, sometimes you have to stop and smell the flowers. <laughs> it's and hard. And respond by gathering all the flowers and stuffing it up their noses and raising their arms in celebration Give as they are crowned the flower-smelling champion. <laughs> yes. This is a really funny meme that someone linked me today. And look, there's some truth behind it. So let's discuss it today. Now, before I'm I start out. going into my self-proclaimed pep talk, if you like the content of my channel, do subscribe to the channel. They'll mean a lot to me. So I'd like to start with the premise that today we'll talk about both sides of the coin. <laughs> Actually, no, many sides of the coins today. Because in the past seven days, I've seen close to over a thousand comments on my YouTube channel regarding island sanctuaries. And within these thousand comments, there are sub discussions about people debating with one another about whether it's fun to play island sanctuaries this way, why spreadsheet gamers are what is that building? everything. And in this video, we'll break is that it a all down. But let's start with the comic first. The is aspiration that a for some players to become the flower smelling champion. These are the people who simply min max island sanctuaries to the extent. Of do, do you guys remember uh, how Sphere got ranked 10 on his island sanctuary on like the second day? He, I think he might have been world first. They should have had an achievement for that. <laughs> they should have had an achievement for who got world first on their ranked 10 on the island sanctuary. They Having should have leaderboards. They should plan their workshop chains. What time they should set their alarm clocks to wake up so that they could finish their renovation on their island sanctuary. Yeah. What time should they wake up to go and catch that rare creature that is spawning only in foggy weather under a certain position of the moon on a certain part of the calendar? <laughs> but I joke. Or maybe I'm not joking. I do know of people like that. And you can go back to my island sanctuary videos in the past seven days and I can guarantee you without scrolling too much, you'll find people who basically take offense at this style of play. They say you're ruining all the fun. But let me just firstly say that I even mean, it's an MMORPG. Here's the great thing about Island Sanctuary. It's your island. It's not, you don't, we're not sharing an island. <laughs> Thank God for that. <clears throat> Can you imagine if it was just one island that all the players share? <laughs> yeah, uh, you can't say that you're ruining, that someone else is ruining the fun because they literally cannot ruin uh, the fun for you because you have your own island. There's already an inherent bias amongst a certain part of the population, not every single player, a certain part, where MMO players are just trained to optimize. I mean, think about it. When you are melding material for your job, would an average person meld their material simply based on what they think is correct? Or would they go to Google and search, what should I meld for a dancer? Or maybe they ask their veteran friends in Final Fantasy XIV. And honestly, there's no right or wrong way to play an MMORPG. At the end of the day, remember, we are all playing this video game to just have fun. I agree. But... But... um, Like, you do want to have... Like, the, in Palma's routine, there is Biss. There is Biss set of gear. And that's the set that will give you the best damage. And there is the materia that the specific type of materia that will give you the best damage is the correct loadout. If you're putting the wrong materia on your gear, that is just not gonna uh, be that beneficial for you. I mean, 
there is kind of a right and wrong way to play. It, it's the same with doing your rotation properly, you know. Um, you need to learn how to not only cast frost spells if you're a black mage. Like, you need to learn how to line up your buff windows, especially if you're a dancer, right? Like, there is, there are some things that are true. Like, that is the right way to play for a job. Like, if you don't have your job sewn in, you're not playing it right. But, thankfully, none of that matters in Island Sanctuary. <laughs> none of that matters in Island Sanctuary. So, it's fine. We are all playing something just to enjoy ourselves. Depends on what you want to do. Want. True. It does depend on what you want to do. Uh, but... That's kind of a whole side conversation. <laughs> you said there's a right way to min-max, but not necessarily a right way to play. Um... I mean... There, I feel like there is a right way for your rotation to go for a lot of jobs. Like, not I'm not saying, like, playing perfectly, but if you go, for example, if you go to Stone Sky Sea and you try to pass the DPS check for Stone Sky Sea for a particular boss, you will not be able to do it <clears throat> unless you know how to do your rotation the right way and you have on the right food and you're melded, and maybe even using potions. Like, if you don't have those things, you will fail Stone Sky Sea. So that being in the game shows you that, like, there is a right and wrong way to do it. I'm not. That's not min maxing. That's like, can you clear the content? Like, can you actually pull your own weight? When you're playing with other people, this is something that I think that you should care about if you're going to be, because uh, working with other people, other people are sac sacrificing their own time. But if you want to do just chill stuff, like ca more casual stuff, you're not trying to clear all the savage raids and you just want to like chill out and play with your friends and not take things too seriously, maybe do normal raids, alliance raids, things like that, then it's fine. Like there's a lot more leeway for you. Uh, but when we get into the territory of things like DP where, where there's going to be DPS checks and people who are really dedicated to trying to succeed and do well, uh, I feel like it's a little bit different, but this is obviously all way off topic of Island Sanctuary, where none of that matters. Enjoying yourself, as long as you're having fun in your <clears> very <throat> own way, then who's to judge you're playing the game wrongly? And you know what? Observing the buzz among my community, where there's a dedicated Island Sanctuary channel where people are posting updates like, oh, I found this place at level 6, you can unlock this new sickle or shovel, and now you can go and <coughs> harvest cotton balls. And did you know you can find clams off the shore now? Like, there's a certain amount of buzz when you're part of that group that is constantly trying to figure out what is next. Yeah, and that's fun. people fun. are enjoying themselves, you know, giving tips to one another like, hey, in one hour's time, this rare spawn will spawn, get ready. Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday we did that. It's been super fun, actually, on the stream. Uh, yesterday, everybody was like, Twinkle Fleece is up right now. You better get on your island. But thank goodness for the community doing these things and like sharing advice with each other because apparently there's some weird spawn bug with Twinkle Fleece. And everybody was like, oh no, you need to make sure that you enter your island after 6.05, uh, 6.05 Aorzia time. If you if you enter before that, then the thing might not spawn. So you may, there's, how the hell would I figure that out by myself? I would not have known that. I simply would not have gotten Twinkle Fleece without everybody giving their advice and tips and we had it's fun it's really enjoyable I've seen people with spreadsheets to optimize every part of their workflow from their workshop what should they build for the week <laughs> and depending on the fluctuating supply and demand they will basically assess the value of a potential item to be sold and they'll find the optimal way to craft it I even have friends who now that I've heard about that the Google spreadsheet where um, people have already figured out what's going to be the best and worst thing for you to craft um, but because none of this actually matters, <laughs> because it is Island Sanctuary and it is a chill content, I feel like uh, I can just do that, figure that out on my own, because I really enjoy doing that aspect of Island Sanctuary. That's probably one of my favorite parts. <clears throat> and because it's separated from the rest of the game, I feel like um, it's okay for me to make mistakes. It's okay for me to make the wrong decisions uh and make maybe not the most maximum profit every day because uh, for me setting up the whole schedule by myself and doing it in the uh dumb way that i try to do it that's that's more fun for me 
Uh, but that's something you kind of have to decide for yourself. Like if you, I imagine if you don't really care that much about setting up the schedule and you just want the calories every week, then yeah, you maybe you would go to the spreadsheet. Ensure that they capture all the right creatures <clears throat> so they can get an everyday supply of every single available material that is dropped from creatures. And honestly, they find that super fun. The part about optimizing engages a part of their brain. And they get a surge of endorphins when they go to the NPC and they learn that overnight the workshop has generated so much currency for them and they yeah, derive it's joy from that. And who are we to say that that's the wrong way of enjoying content? Now, it is worth pointing out though, there's a difference <clears> between <throat> people optimizing their islands actually. I think for me, uh, I get I get the rush every time I go to the mammoth and collect any blue shells after the workshop. Like that's, it's like you show up and he gives you however many shells but I feel like for me, it's better if I don't know how much other people are making for that cycle. I think because I don't know, uh, I don't know if it's bad or good, how many shells I made <laughs> in a day. <clears throat> so I'm just like, oh my God, I got 600 blue shells. Yeah, or the next day I'm like, oh my God, I got 1200 blue shells. I like every day it's pog because I don't know what's good or bad. So it's all good to me right now. The experience versus grinding endlessly and then complaining that they're being time gated or they have run out of content to do. That's a big difference here. It's okay. one thing to like optimizing. Yeah. It's one whole other thing to say I've grinded for, I don't know, 48 hours straight just gathering notes so I can finally reach level 10. And uh -huh. god damn it, this game time gates me at so many turns. I always run out of calories to renovate and therefore I have to gain XP by just going around nodes to harvest nodes. That's that's really an artificial problem they created for themselves because they feel the desire like I want to get level 10 ASAP. Gotta get the world first title for final farm 14. And if that's your aspiration, that's completely fine. And if you enjoy gathering- the Well, what I would say is that with the time gating or without it, everyone will eventually run into that problem in not that long of a time. Like, I think even if you do it more casually, which I would say because of my circumstances, I've been moving constantly, I haven't been able to play that much. I have been forced into more casual play of the island and I'm still already like rank seven or rank eight. And I feel like it's not been out for that long. I know a lot of people that are already pretty high rank. So even without all the time gaining that they put, which is, to be honest, not that much. It would only take maybe a month, two months for you to get to rank 10. And then at that point, you will just be gathering nodes and then like just gathering and grinding. And then like, what are the you doing? The nodes for 48 hours straight, that's also fine. Oh. What I think is a bit disingenuous, <clears throat> people complain about time gating when yeah. it's very clear that the content isn't meant to be enjoyed in a short burst. For the people who complain about time gating, I don't really know what you want. Do you want a game where if I chop down a tree, it immediately respawns? Or when I harvest cotton from a cotton plant, suddenly the cotton plant sprouts new cotton. Because think about it, Island Sanctuary, the name Sanctuary itself is supposed to promote like a very chill, relaxed, casual, zen place. And I don't know about how you enjoy your Island Sanctuaries, but I find myself increasingly after- I think maybe it's just that people would like more tedious, grindy things to do while waiting for the buildings to be built or the crops to grow because they really like it like at least, at least that's for me in, in my case i really like it there and uh it's like i don't know i would like some other chores that i don't that are like never ending maybe we can do laundry at the islands <laughs> thought about that or like after <laughs> a long day's work at the office, coming home, lying back on my chair with my <laughs> beverage in hand, putting on some island cues, listening to the zone music, and just aimlessly going around to water my plants, harvest my leavings from the animals, sightseeing around the islands to see what creatures I can catch today, and also chat with my friends on the side. That to me is an island sanctuary. 
And by the way, I'm not level 10 yet, but even then, I mean, all that I is good. Enjoy the process. All that stuff is awesome. That stuff is so great. I'm learning how to optimize my workshop. I like to look at my agenda and I like to see how I can combine ways to make it more efficient, to have efficiency bonus. I like to look at the demand supply charts to figure out how do I get more calories for every hour I spend in the workshop. And when I'm done for the day, I'm done with all my chores. And yeah. There's nothing else to harvest, build. I simply log off. And then the next no. day, I come back and my rent. No, that's the. <laughs> That's the part I can't do. Don't you understand that? I can't log out. <laughs> That's the problem. Log off? Do you realize I did not log off at all since yesterday? <laughs> I woke up, my character's still standing next to Baldwin, the boat NPC. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, oh shit, here we go again. Here we go. Yeah, I can't log off. That's, that's the problem. What are you doing when you log off? <laughs> Innovations are done. I watch the cutscene and I go, wow, my island have changed so much since like a week ago. Every day you go and take stuff from your workshop, you get your calories, you reinvest your calories into growing your island, and then gradually you see it improve. If Yoshi P were to allow everyone to upgrade from level 1 to 10, the max level with, you know, the amount of calories they earn within the first three hours, then there's no sense of satisfaction. Part of the beauty of Island Sanctuary is simply to take it slow. You know, in between what you want to do in Final Fantasy fourteen, you visit your farm, you get some chores done, and then your queue pops, you go into the queue, <laughs> Then you come back, you continue on your island. It is great, the by the way. It's so amazing that you can do this while you're in the queue for uh, DPS queues and, and dungeon queues. And I had been asking for a long time for more stuff to do like that. That's not fate farming. And so that is one thing Island Sanctuary definitely delivered on. And it's really nice. And your farm life. What ruins the content is when you force challenge yourself log. to gather notes for 40 hours in a row. Yeah, we need more challenge log entries. Maybe some achievements. Okay, so maybe like weird achievements. It's like, <laughs> this is a horrible idea. <laughs> Gather 500 palm logs in five minutes. <laughs> no, it'll, take, it'll take you like four hours probably to gather that many. Make 10,000 salads. <laughs> no. And then you complain to people about how tedious Island Sanctuary grinds are when you really don't have to. And that is technically self-imposed based on unrealistic expectations of yourself because you want to be the first to yell that you have a level 10 Island Sanctuary. And here's something to consider as well. We've talked a lot about optimizing, but there's also a lot of joy in doing the silly things on your Island Sanctuary. Someone DM me the other day, he has captured like 20 sheep. And he had basically named all his sheep after the lyrics of Baba Black Sheep. And I thought it was absolutely hilarious. I mean, there was a meme that we saw the other day where the person only captures chocobos and he leaves out his life like a chocobo rancher. Is that optimal? No. He's probably getting a lot of the same raw materials. He can't craft certain things. But it's okay because nobody cares. At the end of the day, they're having fun and that's all that matters. That's they are true. I agree with that. Game. That's so regardless true. Of whether you're someone that's, who that's wholesome and I agree. Enjoy spreadsheets. Whether you're an Excel farmer on Island Sanctuary or you're the head- I don't think I've captured a chocobo yet. <clears throat> I want to get one and I, so I can name him Cluck Norris. Happy go lucky Kai who really can't be bothered to optimize any part of your farm. Or you're in the middle like me who don't spend as much time grinding all the nodes. But given my limited time, I still like to spend my resources efficiently. Regardless of where you are on this spectrum of how you like to enjoy content, just know that it doesn't matter what other people are doing. Because the island sanctuary at that's the end the of the day that's is the best. yours. It's a personalized island sanctuary. That's the thing that's the best about this. And that's why, uh, for me, it has been weird to see people get mad about how other people want to do their island sanctuary. <laughs> like, the 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 uh, comment that's like, oh, you're ruining the fun of island sanctuary because you want to go so hard at it. It's like, wh whose fun are we talking about <laughs> right now? So you got your own, right? Well, actually, a lot of people don't have their own because you have to clear 6.0 to get the island at all, which, so maybe people are feeling like they're, li they're trying to live vicariously through you Literally and your yours. island. And you should be able to do whatever the hell you want with it. It doesn't matter whether your FC main is two levels above you, you are too slow. 
you know, contrary to the cartoon earlier, there's actually no flower smelling champion award in Eosia. You don't need anyone's validation in terms of how you should enjoy a game. Because the only voice that matters is the voice in your head that tells you how you want to play Island Sanctuary. The essence, the very essence of Island Sanctuary is you, the warrior of light, retiring to a far away place. A place where you don't have to care about societal norms. A place where you have no ego to uphold. A place where you're just a normal person tending to a farm. It's just... As he, ex as he described all that, I realized why it's so hard for me. <laughs> Like, this is a place where you can go relax and be a normal person. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I see why this has been difficult for so many of us. You, your crops, <laughs> the creatures, and the island itself. And that, my friend, is the true Easy. beauty of Island Sanctuary. Being able to find joy within yourself and the random things you do in the game. Because <laughs> that is what drew me to Final Fantasy XIV in the first place. The quirky, crazy, brand new world of Eosia, full of all these strange looking races with not a care in the world about what people think about me. I'm just here to experience this brand new place. And that is why there's no one correct way to enjoy Island Sanctuary. I mean, that's so the thing that's great about it. Happy, and that is to enjoy Island Sanctuaries in whatever shape or form you like without caring about what other people are doing. So thanks for attending my TED talk on the little island sanctuary of mine. I agree. Let me know what your thoughts are. It was absolutely solid video, excellent points in it all around. Uh, I'm really happy that he can log off after doing everything for the day. It was it was wholesome. Touched on a lot of the things that I love about Island Sanctuary and that it is supposed to be a, a real change of pace from the things that you ordinarily do, and. Uh, as difficult as it might be for some of us, you do not have to go so hard all the time. <laughs> if you have 999 and all resources, we'll be able to rely. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that after you get 999 in a resource, you can't gather more? Is it capped? Can you only carry 999 at a time? Better not. No, I don't think so, because then you should have another stack, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> anyway, what we were saying about just going in for a little bit. And gathering a little bit, that's probably the right. Shit, it's not 99 cap. <laughs> that's a problem. Because that means that after I reach the 999 cap, then I'll keep gathering and I won't it won't be optimal. <sighs> it's just gonna be a waste. <laughs> You can export and gather more. Oh, okay. Problem solved. Thanks, Yak yeah, Crusade. <laughs> okay, never mind. You told me I can't have five millions of each resource. <laughs> yeah, you can get the green calories. Okay, never mind. All good. So maybe Yoshi P did anticipate that some of us would be like that. <laughs>